There is one question, mostly one question that I get really often on social medias. And that's, uh, Luca, why do you spend so much money in vintage glass instead of modern glass with autofocus? In today's video, I'm gonna respond to this uh, answer. Question, first mistake. <laughs> The reason number one is of course the image quality that they can reproduce. To my eyes, the image quality is way more organic. And what do I mean with organic? It's a bit question mark, I know. Organic for me means uh, when uh, the image is not looking digital. So the lens has really strong rendition power and less uh, uh, contrast. Nowadays the lens manufacturers are making the lenses in the opposite way so really high contrast and less uh, rendering power and I don't really love that type of look. The second reason is because of the character of the lenses. If you like interesting bokeh and uh, flares these lenses are really for you. You can also buy modern uh, glass but uh, those lenses are uh, so perfect and uh, controlling the flares so well that to my eyes they are a little bit boring. My two cents. Another reason why you want to buy this type of lenses is because they are cheap and convenient. If you are an indie filmmaker like me, you probably want to save as much as possible. And investing your money in glass that doesn't lose value in the future, it's a pretty good uh, deal. The fourth reason why you want to buy vintage glass is because they are built like a tank and they're gonna last forever. So I think it's a wise investment for the long term because uh, they are all made full of metal and glass, of course, and uh, the manual focus experience is gonna be way better than uh, modern glass. The fifth reason why you want to buy these lenses is because they are uh, greatly adaptable for every system. You can uh, mount these lenses almost to every mirrorless camera, no, actually to every mirrorless camera, and also to Canon EF mount. And uh, that's uh, a great, great thing, because once you build your set of lenses, you don't have to spend money anymore in your lenses, unless you drop them or you get uh, some nasty fungus. In my opinion, a must-buy for every independent filmmaker or creative photographer are the Helios 44-2 from Zenit. That's an outstanding uh, lens that can deliver really interesting image quality. And uh, the Canon FD F1.8. Those are the two lenses I can recommend you to start with because they are cheap. You can find them between $30 to maybe $50, $60. And don't pay more than that, otherwise it's a scam. They are easy to find and they can be adapted in every camera. Uh, you're gonna have uh, full control of the aperture blades without having uh, to de-click the lenses. And they are fully manual. But consider that there are some downsides with the vintage glass. The main one and the most important, in my opinion, is that they can give you addiction. You can literally start to buy a lot of these lenses for cheap and uh, you're gonna spend a lot of time on eBay looking for these lenses that uh, at the first approach that can be interesting and nice but in my opinion it's a total waste of money for example lenses like Vivitar or Sigma uh, what else? I don't know, there are so many that uh, you can't really remember all of them but anyway I wouldn't spend those little money for cheap lenses it's better to buy lenses that are a little bit more worth and in my opinion around uh, uh, 100 bucks and above it's a good investment in the vintage glass and uh, another uh, bad thing about vintage glass is that uh, yeah you're gonna lose the weather sealing uh, ability of your system for example i shoot a lot with the lumix s cameras and uh, I never really had the problem of weather sealing with this camera, even with uh, adapted lens. Uh, sometimes I also got some uh, big splash from the waves in the sea without any problem. And uh, it's a little bit risky. For example, if you film 
in the snow or in really wet countries with a lot of uh, humidity. I don't know if it's really wise to film with uh, adapted lenses because uh, you're gonna short the life of your camera. So my advice is to always have one uh, weather sealed lens. Doesn't matter if you are filming or if you are doing photography because you never know what's gonna happen on the field and uh, you don't wanna miss uh, the shot or the opportunity to capture a determinate moment. So it's really important to have at least one uh, weather sealing lens. That's why uh, I bought the Panasonic Lumix uh, S, long name, 24 to 105 f4, because uh, I generally film with a slow lens outdoor, and uh, I use that lens also for landscape photography. So I'm pretty covered for outdoor situation. And uh, if I need really bright, and a sharp prime uh, can just adapt uh, every type of uh, prime and uh, yeah most of the time will be inside and safe from the rain if you would like to see some uh, vintage glass footage you can check in my channel there are many videos where i use uh, uh, vintage uh, lenses and uh, for the pictures you can check on my instagram it's uh, lucabono.studio and where you can also drop me a message if you have any question I hope that this video was helpful guys and uh, I'll see you next time. Ciao! Sorry guys, I forgot to mention two last secrets. The first is that these lenses are only getting more difficult to find and more expensive. So if you want to buy your set of vintage lenses, start to do it now because you're probably going to regret it in the future. The second secret is to don't share this video and don't be so excited about the vintage lenses with your friends because they're going to hunt for the same lenses you want. So that's really important. Don't forget it. Uh, I hope that video was helpful. And if you like the video, please show it. Like the video. And I'll see you next time. If you subscribe, don't forget it. Ciao, guys. Woo.